Today I'm going to share with you how to make hot cross buns. Now this is typically made for Good Friday and with the upcoming Good Friday and Easter weekend this is the perfect time for this. I've also had a lot of requests on Instagram to share this recipe. So today I'm going to show you how to make this sweetened bread that is topped with a cross. Now let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is sprinkle the yeast over warm water and let it stand until it's dissolved for about 5 minutes. To a bowl, I'm adding flour, salt, sugar, cinnamon, and freshly grated nutmeg. I'm adding this directly to the bowl of my mixer because I am going to use my mixer to mix the dough. The spices are going to give the dough a ton of flavor. You can also add ground cardamom and clove if you choose. Now to that mixture, I'm adding warm milk, melted butter, and an egg. Next, I'm going to add that yeast mixture that we made earlier. And I'm going to mix this for about 5 minutes using the dough hook. Once the dough has mixed, if you're using raisins or currants, you can add it to the dough. Now, I personally don't like raisins or currants in my cross buns, so I skipped it. What I will say is that the raisins does give the dough a dark, rich color. And you're going to see at the end that my dough is going to be a little bit lighter. My, my cross buns is going to be a little bit lighter, and that's because I didn't add raisins. The dough is going to be a little sticky and that's fine. I'm going to leave it in this bowl, cover it with cling wrap and let it rise in a warm place for about an hour. I typically like to put this on my stove because it's a bit warm over there. If you're interested in making this recipe, the full recipe will be linked below in the description box. My mom always made cross buns for us on Good Friday. And when I got married and moved away, I had to make my own. And I came across this recipe on the internet and I've since made a little bit of tweaks here and there, but it is absolutely perfect. The cross buns are nice and sticky on the outside and it's so light and airy and the flavor is out of this world. Your house is going to smell amazing when you're making these. Now it's time to roll these into individual buns. And the dough is going to be a tad bit sticky, just add a little bit of flour and knead it for about a minute or two. Now I'm going to cut these into 12 equal pieces and the easiest way to do this would be to cut the dough in half and then cut that piece in half and then divide it into three pieces. Try to make the buns as equal in size as possible so that it looks uniform and it also bakes at the same rate. Cross buns is one of those recipes that's pretty versatile. Now, I'm making mine without raisins or currants or any added dried fruits, but as I stated before, you can add those. You can also add mixed peel, you can add orange zest, you can add cardamom, dried cherries. I've seen people add chocolate chips to it, but today I'm just making it this way. So whenever you're making your own, you can experiment a bit or just add the flavors that you love. Now that I've separated the dough into 12 pieces, I'm going to roll each piece to form the buns. And don't forget, this full recipe is on my blog, giancancook.com. Just be sure when you go over there to take a look around. There are a lot of other great recipes on my website. And also be sure to follow me over on Instagram at giancancook. What I want to show you is that one of my buns were a little big, so I pinched some of the dough, I removed it, and I added to another bun that was a bit smaller, just to make sure that everything is even in size. So I'm going to place them onto a baking pan that's lined with parchment paper. And I'm placing these about an inch apart. You want these to have some room to rise, not only outside of the oven, but also as it bakes. I'm going to cover these loosely with cling wrap and then place it in a warm place and allow it to rise for about 30 to 35 minutes. Once the dough has risen, I'm going to remove the cling wrap and then I'm going to brush the tops of these with a mixture of egg yolk and milk. And we're just going to liberally brush the top. This is going to give it a nice golden brown color as it bakes. I'm going to place these into an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees and let these bake. While these bake, I'm going to get started on the syrup. 
Now this syrup is what you're gonna brush the buns with as soon as it comes out of the oven. It makes it nice and sticky and sweet. I've placed sugar, water, vanilla and cinnamon to this pot and I'm just gonna let it cook and let the sugar melt and then let it simmer for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna remove it from the heat and allow it to cool. Now that the buns are out of the oven and those are so golden brown and beautiful, I'm gonna immediately brush the tops with that sugar syrup that we made. Be sure to brush these all around the sides as well because the stickiness of cross buns, that sweet sticky glaze is the absolute best. I could not wait for it to cool completely and I had to bite into one. Now as you can see, my cross buns don't have a process yet, but I am gonna make an icing cross and to a bowl, I'm adding powdered sugar and milk and mix that together. Other methods of adding the cross as well. Some like to snip the dough before it's baked so it forms the cross and that opens up during the baking process. You can make a flour paste and pipe it on top and then bake it. You can also do a pastry cross. Personally, I prefer the icing cross. Now I'm adding the icing to a Ziploc bag. I'm going to close it and then snip a tiny hole in one of the ends. And then I'm going to pipe the cross on top of the cross buns. The cross buns have to be completely cold before you place the cross on top. And look how beautiful and perfect these are. The outside is going to be nice and sweet and sticky and the inside has all those warm flavors from the cinnamon and the nutmeg. I personally like to enjoy this with a nice thick slice of cheddar cheese. If you make this recipe, please be sure to share it with me over on Instagram at GianCanCo. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, please be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.